station. This is Houston on two. Are you ready for the event? I am ready for the event, Houston. Google Plus, this is Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Hey, uh, thank you. Hey, station, this is Google Plus. How do you hear me? Soichi, hear you loud and clear. How me? Aki, you are loud and clear too. Waiting, Mr. Hoshide. Finally, we are now connected to International Space Station where Mr. Hoshide is. We are ready for the communication. Good evening, Hoshide. Wow. Konbanwa. He's floating. Good evening. Thank you very much for being with us. Hi. So this is a very historical moment of connecting homes to space. So we would like to propose toast. So do you have drink with you? So Mr. Hoshide, would you say a few words for the toast? Good evening. Until a few moments ago, actually I was preparing for Medaka experiment. I was uh, building the aquarium for the experiment, but uh, I'm really happy to join in this historical event. Only until a few years ago, we didn't even imagine that we will be able to do such an event, but through this event, I hope that people will feel very close to the space. Well, for Kampai, cheers. We do not have beer here with us, but can you see? I have coffee with me, so I'm joining you with my coffee. So please join me for the toast. Cheers. Kampai. Thank you very much, Mr. Hoshide. Now uh, we would like to start with questions. Google Hangout, very historical first question, is to be asked by Mr. Sanai. Would you like to go to space, my son? Yes. So if my son started starts to say that he wants to go to space, what can I do to support my son? Hi. Hello, Mr. Sanai. Good evening, maybe. That's a difficult question. Uh, there are various ways to go to space. One is to be an astronaut, and another way, probably in the near future, as if you are going to go to overseas travel, you may be able to go to space as a space traveler. But until that time, there may, the path may be rather difficult. In my case, my parents knew that I wanted to be an astronaut, so they had supported me all through this process. And so in the same way, many people are working very hard to realize the dream, so having understanding for their dream and support it is going to be very important. To be specific, what we can support is very difficult to answer, but being close to them and have good understanding would be very good support that you can provide to your child. Thank you very much. So, uh, Mr. Kiura, please. I believe that uh, for the uh, your mission there, you would have various uh, contingency plans. And if you are to have a contact with the aliens or if you are to uh, see any floating material that have you already have plans to what you are to do? And are there anything that surprised you in terms of the types of contingency plans that they have? Hello, Mr. Kiura. Well, we often hear about aliens, you know, people thinking about uh, aliens or space life. And I often ask whether I have encountered those. Unfortunately, I have not. And we have to, we do not have any plan 
a contingency plan to do that. But as we have always communication with the ground, I can call down to the ground and I can ask for their support if that ever happens. But uh, if I may take uh, more close uh, cases, uh, we do various things to prepare for various uh, problems. For example, when Konotori it came and we grappled it. There are possibilities of various uh, problems. For example, Konotori may have some problem itself, or ISS may have some problem, or robot um, may stop moving. So those are the types of contingency plan in place. And in order to be able to, to uh, to handle those situations, it's important to have a backup system during the design phase. And also for procedure, we ha always have to have uh, different types of procedures in place. We astronauts also understand thoroughly what are the contingency plans and so that we'll be able to follow those uh, procedures to overcome uh, different types of problems. So we are prepared for that. Thank you very much. Now, Mr. Doi, please. Miss Doi, rather. Good evening, uh, Mr. Hoshide. I'm a university student and uh, majoring in art. And if a liberal art type of person, an artist, get to go to space and be exposed to an environment completely different from the Earth, they may be able to create completely new work. Have you ever been inspired to create or express something while you're in space. Hello, Ms. Doi. Yes, an artist or a people who have different backgrounds may be able to create a different culture. Unfortunately, I I'm not artistic, so it's rather difficult to answer this uh, question. But uh, when I look out and see the Earth, I can take pictures. But taking pictures itself is not so easy. If I, even if I try to capture as I see, it doesn't really work so well. And it may not be able to express what I wanted to express in even taking photographs. So those people who are experts, photographer, composers, painters, and if they have opportunity to come to the space, um, a new type of culture may be created. So being in gravity, in, on the Earth may be different when you go out into space and see the Earth from the space, then you may be able to create a new culture. Thank you very much. Uh, now, uh, Mr. Tabuchi, please. Hello, I'm Tabuchi. I like mountaineering. And when I'm up on the mountains of 3,000 meters high, you are surrounded by silence. So during your spacewalk, what is the silence of space like when you're on, when ground controllers and other crewmates are not speaking? Uh, Tabuchi, good evening. Well, it's, I was, I actually thought that probably no sound in space, but actually it was not the case. We do have some sound because uh, there are fun going on in order to circulate the air, and also you hear noise from the communication. So it's not really completely silenced in space. Thank you very much. Now, Mr. Kimitsuki, please. I'm Kimitsuki. I'm interested in extraterrestrial intelligent life. If you are in charge of mission of taking contrast, uh, contact with extraterrestrial intelligent life, how would you do that? 
はい、君月さん、こんばんは。そうですね。君月さん、グリブニー。Well, contacting with extraterrestrial intelligent life. There may be different forms of intelligent life, and I do not know what would be the best form. Probably they would not understand our words. I don't know whether it should be the light or sound. I don't know what should be the form of communication. One thing, one important thing is not to offend them. So that's one thing we have to be very careful about. Thank you very much. Now, the next question is going to be asked by Chuya Koyama, who is the author of Space Brothers. Good evening. I'm Koyama of Space Brothers. I haven't seen you for a while. My question is is that a lot of children are inspired by your activity and also reading Space Brothers manga series. And I think a lot of children would be inspired to be wanting to be an astronaut. And do you have any advice to them? Hi, Koyama san, k o m a Hello, Mr. Koyama. I haven't seen you for a while. Yes,、uh, there are various animations and mangas, including、uh, Space Brothers, and I am very happy that many more people would be interested in space and wanting to be. Astronauts, there should be various things that they should do. One thing is that I want them to challenge and try various things, experience and acquire various knowledge skills, and that those are going to be very useful for the future. And even if you have difficulty, do not give up and be persistent in pursuing your dream, I hope. Thank you very much, Mr. Hoshide. Now, our、uh, next question is to be asked by Seiko o Ito, who is in the studio. Hello? What is the dream that you recently dreamt in space? Hi, Ito san, k o n b a n w a Hello, Mr. Ito. Well, dreams. I don't remember dreams. I don't know whether that, whether that means I am not dreaming or I just do not remember. I don't know. But since I arrived at the space station, and actually I don't dream so much on ground either, but、uh, unfortunately I do not remember any dream that I dreamt on International Space Station. Well, from now on, I'm going to ask questions on behalf of、uh, people who are being connected and who have contributed to us the question. So, this is from Ms. Tomisaki. I'm the high school first year. And I have a dream of becoming an astrono- astronomer and naming a star I discovered after myself. Is there anything I should do now? And what does the moon look like from the ISS? And is the view of planets different from ISS than from the Earth? Well, what you should do now is、well, enjoy your young age. And also, I believe that you have many friends. And be good to your friends. I am now in space, and I know that a lot of friends on the ground are supporting me on the ground, and their support are going to be a very strong power for you in the future. So be good to your friends. And moons that are seen from ISS, they are very bright. The size may be not much different from the, the one that you see from the Earth, but In the full moon, it feels as if some light is on. It's so bright. And also, planet and fixed stars. If you are on the ground, you have air, and because of the density changes of the air, the stars blink. But in case of 
the space, they do not blink. So they are always stable, very bright stars. Thank you very much. Now, this is a question from Asano-san. Could you tell me how you refresh yourself aboard the ISS? Any particular way to get refreshed? Well, looking out the window and see the earth, probably. Whenever I find time, I go to the window and see the earth, and you never get tired of it. It has various expressions. It has the sea, mountains, forests, towns. So it has various scenes, various expressions, and in the morning, and in the daytime, and in the evening, at night. So different expression is shown at different time of the day, so it's really soothing to see this, the earth. Mr. Hoshide, thank you so much. Mr. Tabuchi-san, Kimitsuki-san, Kyuru-san, Sanae-san, Doi-san, Koyama-san, and also Masai-san and Ito-san, everyone. Thank you very much. This was a great mission. Thank you very much. And your stay on ISS is going to be only about one month left. And I hope that uh, you will do your great work for the remain rest of your stay. So, Mr. Hoshide, would you like to give a message to all the people who are connected to Google Plus around the world? Thank you very much. I was really looking forward to this event, and it is really wonderful that I could talk to you with all, all of you. I have only one month left on International Space Station. I would like to do good work, and I also like to enjoy the space. And when I go back to the ground, I am looking, also looking forward to talking with you. I hope that you'll continue to support me and take interest and feel close to the Earth. Please look up to the night sky and please wave to International Space Station from the ground. Thank you very much. A lot of people are also gathering here and at the studio, and also thank you very much, who are connected through Google. So we are almost, uh, time is almost uh, up. So everyone, six crews that are connected, let's say thank you to Mr. Hoshide together. Thank you very much, Mr. Hoshide. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you.